Fans are enraged as BTS's logo was plagiarized. BTS's music to be removed from TikTok due to TikTok's unfair compensation. Why concert tickets are so high lately. Fans are scammed. Recent K-pop controversy and more news. For enthusiasts of the global sensation BTS, the band's emblem represents more than just an image. It's a symbol of the deep connection between the group and their passionate fan base. This connection was at the forefront of discussions when, on February 1st, a wave of discontent swept through the fan community. The source of their dismay was an incident involving Birmingham City FC, which appeared to have used a design remarkably similar to the BTS logo. The incident coincided with Birmingham City FC's announcement about the recruitment of South Korean footballer Pike Sung-ho. Accompanying this news, a post on the club's social media platform displayed an image that strikingly resembled the iconic logo of BTS, with the initials PSH integrated into the design. This move provoked a global outcry from the army, with fans expressing their disbelief and indignation over what they perceived as an act of imitation. Army members rapidly took to social media, voicing their concerns and surprise over the apparent replication. Among the sea of discontent, a prominent fan voiced concerns over the legal implications for the football club, suggesting that HYBE, the agency behind BTS, might pursue legal action in response to the perceived infringement. In a separate but related development, Pike Sung Ho's affiliation with Birmingham City FC was formally announced. This South Korean midfielder, a celebrated figure in football with a gold medal from the Asian Games and experience in the South Korean national team, had signed a contract with the club. As of January 29th, Pike agreed to join the English Football League Championship team, making history as the first South Korean player for Birmingham City FC, with a contract extending through June 2026. While this news was positively received in football circles, it sparked a different reaction among K-pop fans, particularly within the BTS ARMY. The controversy stemmed from the club's social media post regarding Pike Sung Ho's recruitment, which featured a graphic closely resembling the BTS logo, coupled with Pike's initials. This led to a flurry of reactions from fans who were baffled and upset by the similarity. Many expressed their belief that Birmingham City FC's decision to use this design was under the misconception that BTS symbolizes South Korea as a whole. One fan commented on the situation, predicting potential legal challenges for the club due to this controversial USAIG. Additionally, several fans highlighted that the Choice Tuawzi logo resembling that of Bangtan Boys was specifically to announce the new South Korean player's arrival. This perceived misuse of the logo to create a parody did not sit well with the majority of the army, leading to widespread expression of displeasure on social media. In a broader context, Paik Sung Ho's move to Birmingham City FC marks a significant milestone in his career. At 26 years old, he had garnered interest from several English clubs but chose Birmingham City FC, cementing his position until June 2026, pending international clearance. His journey to the UK concludes his nearly three-year stint with Jeonbuk Hyundai Motors in South Korea, with a football career spanning over a decade in Europe. Both as a youth and a professional player, Paik's achievements include 15 international caps and a notable performance in the 2022 FIFA Men's World Cup, where he scored against Brazil in the round of 16, followed by a victory in the Asian Games 10 months later. Jungkook is celebrated for his immense popularity both online and around the world. His fans, who have been ardently following his career, have been especially keen to keep up with his activities since he began his mandatory military service. Recently, Jungkook has been the center of media attention due to a significant accomplishment. He has been granted full membership in the Korea Music Copyright Association, COMCA, as of 2024. This achievement places Jungkook in a prestigious league within the music industry. In 2024, Jungkook marked a significant milestone in his illustrious career by attaining full membership in the Korea Music Copyright Association, COMCA. This notable accomplishment, which he shares with G-idol Soyeon, distinguishes them as the only K-pop artists to achieve this recognition in the year. Full membership in COMCA is more than just a badge of popularity. It's an acknowledgement of an artist's substantial contributions to the music industry and a symbol of their influence in shaping the future of K-pop. Gaining full membership in Comca is not an easy feat. This honor is bestowed upon a limited number of artists each year, and candidates must meet rigorous criteria. These include generating significant annual royalties, obtaining approval from the board, 
and maintaining a junior membership for at least three years. In 2024, Jungkook and Soyeon from G Idol were the exclusive K-pop artists to reach this level of recognition, highlighting their status as influential figures in the K-pop landscape. Jungkook has also been in the news for a different reason. There was a recent leak of a military diary, purportedly belonging to Jungkook. Sources have commented on the sensitivity of this issue, noting that the diary was meant strictly for military personnel, as it contained confidential information like schedules and locker details. The leak, if confirmed, represents not only a violation of Jungkook's privacy, but also a breach of military regulations. This incident could have legal implications for those responsible and has raised concerns about the security and confidentiality protocols within the military. BTS's Jimin, known for his incredible talent and charisma, recently shared insights into how he spends his day off, revealing a routine that might come as a surprise to many. His unconventional schedule reflects the unique demands of a pop star's life. Jimin's day typically begins when most people are concluding their day. He wakes up at 5 p.m after sleeping through the day. Upon waking, he spends some time in bed, pondering over what meal to start his day with. By 7 p.m., Jimin is ready for his first meal of the day, which serves as his breakfast. It's a late start, but for Jimin, it's just the right time to break his fast. Once breakfast is done, at around 8 p.m., Jimin dedicates the next few hours to relaxation. During this period, he describes himself as being in a state of complete relaxation, without a single thought to disturb his peace. Dinner time arrives at 11 p.m. This is the time for Jimin's next meal, adhering to his unique daily routine. As the clock strikes midnight, Jimin engages in various activities to make the most of his free time. This is when he practices his singing, plays around with his guitar, or indulges in gaming, making the most of the quiet night hours. Around 4 a.m., Jimin dedicates a few hours to using his phone. This late night slot is when he catches up on social media, games, or other online activities. Finally, at 7 a.m., Jimin concludes his day and goes to bed. This marks the end of his unique schedule, showcasing the extraordinary lifestyle of one of the world's most beloved K-pop stars. Universal Music Group, UMG, a titan in the global music industry, is known for its diverse roster of artists spanning all genres, including K-pop. On January 31st, a notable development emerged when a statement was shared on the company's social media, indicating a significant stance regarding TikTok. The message conveyed was clear. UMG was calling for a timeout on its involvement with TikTok. In an article explaining this statement, UMG outlined the reasons behind this decision. Key among these was the expiration of their contract with TikTok at the end of the month. UMG raised several critical issues during the negotiations, notably including compensation for artists, concerns about the risks associated with AI technology, and user safety on the platform. UMG accused TikTok of trying to pressure them into accepting a less favorable deal than the previous one, and significantly below what they considered fair market value. According to UMG, TikTok resorted to tactics such as selectively removing music from some of their developing artists while retaining tracks from globally popular stars. UMG emphasized their commitment to protecting the interests of their artists and fans, stating it was their duty to negotiate a new agreement that would ensure fair compensation for artists, respect human creativity, and guarantee a safe, well-moderated environment for users. This situation could potentially impact several high-profile artists, with BTS being one of the most notable names. BTS's popularity has surged over the years, and while TikTok isn't the sole reason for their global fame, the platform has undoubtedly helped introduce their music to wider audiences. This was evident when American dancer Charlie D'Amelio's video featuring BTS's Blood, Sweat and Tears went viral on the app. However, BTS is just one of many artists under Universal Music that could be affected by this decision. Other significant names include Seventeen, a fellow Hybe group, and artists like Blackpink. Additionally, companies such as JYP Entertainment, which may not have direct ties with UMG, are often associated with the company through its distribution partners. As of now, the full extent of the consequences of UMG's decision remains unclear, with no definitive details on which artists will be impacted. Nevertheless, given the widespread use of TikTok among K-pop fans, there is a growing sense of concern about what this development might mean for their favorite artists and the industry at large. On January 31st, the K-pop community witnessed a stir 
as GOT7's Yu Giam unveiled the cover design and track list for his highly anticipated debut album, Trust Me. This reveal sparked an immediate and heated online debate among fans, who noticed what they claimed were striking similarities between Yu Giam's album design and that of BTS's J Hope's earlier album, Jack in the Box. J Hope, a member of the global sensation BTS, had released Jack in the Box on July 15, 2022, under big hit music. This album featured 10 tracks with more as the lead. Following Yu Giam's album cover reveal, a faction of fans began alleging that he had imitated J-Hope's album design. However, this accusation was met with disagreement from other fans who argued that the concepts of the two albums were significantly different, leading to a fiery debate within the fan communities. Those who believed that Yu Giam's album bore a resemblance to J-Hope's Jack in the Box opined that he had replicated the entire concept of the BTS members' work, altering only the color scheme. Yu Giam's Trust Me cover design is characterized by a green color scheme with black fonts. The album art depicts the idol in a brown-red outfit, positioned amidst a green, cushion-like setting. Notably, he is wearing a cat earshot, a suit, and black shoes, presenting a strikingly bold color choice. In contrast, J-Hope's Jack in the Box album cover also features the BTS member in a distinct white and black suit, complemented by a similar hat and black shoes, employing a bold color palette. This comparison led to accusations of plagiarism from armies who claimed that Yu Giam's label had copied the design elements of J-Hope's album. On the other hand, the GOT7 fandom defended Yu Giam, arguing that any similarities were coincidental and primarily due to the shared hat design. As the debate rages on, fans continue to voice their support for their respective idols. Some fans of BTS J-Hope have expressed their concerns over what they perceive as a lack of creativity in the K-pop industry, especially during the military service of their idol, suggesting that some artists might be resorting to copying past successful concepts. The release of Trust Me, scheduled for February 21st, is eagerly awaited by fans and has already generated significant buzz due to both its content and the ongoing debate surrounding its cover design. Yoon Dong Hwan, the chairman of the Record Label Industry Association of Korea, recently addressed the issue of ticket scalping regulations in South Korea. His comments came in the wake of a report published by the association, which compared the ticket scalping policies and laws of seven different countries, namely Japan, China, Taiwan, the US, Canada, France, and Belgium. This report was made public on Tuesday. The study highlighted the disparity in penalties for ticket scalping across these nations. Fines for such activities range from $1,500 to $75,000. In the United States, for instance, individuals who buy or resell tickets using macro programs, which automate the repetitive online ticketing process, are liable to face fines up to $1,500. Japan has a strict approach outlawing the resale of tickets at prices higher than the original. Violators risk facing up to a year in prison or a fine of approximately $6,700. Similarly, Taiwan enforces regulations against selling tickets above face value, with penalties reaching 10 to 50 times the original ticket price. Additionally, the use of macros for purchasing tickets can result in up to three years in prison or fines up to $96,000. Canada's law permits ticket resale, but caps the price increase at 50% above the original price. Non-compliance can lead to a two-year prison sentence or a fine of up to $37,000. In Europe, France imposes fines up to $16,000 for ticket scalping, while Belgium's maximum fine stands at 60,000 euros. Yoon Dong Hwan explained that several countries had revised their ticket scalping-related laws, recognizing the severity of the issue, especially after the emergence of macros in 2018. However, he pointed out that South Korea's situation is unique due to its strong consumer protection laws. These laws allow ticket purchases to be canceled without any penalty within seven days of purchase, and even on the day of the event, with only up to a 30% commission incurred by the buyer. Yoon suggested that this makes South Korea an ideal market for scalpers. Since March 2022, South Korea has been enforcing the Public Performance Act, targeting those who use macros to buy tickets with potential penalties of up to a year in prison or a fine of up to $7,500. Despite this, industry insiders express concern that this law may have a limited impact on preventing ticket scalping, as it primarily focuses on the use of macros, leaving other aspects of scalping unaddressed. 
The world of K-pop is no stranger to bold fashion choices, but a recent trend has sparked a wave of concern among parents. This new style, known as the pantsless look, or no pants look, involves wearing outfits that mimic the appearance of underwear or omit pants entirely. This trend is gaining traction among several popular idol groups, including Lee Seraphim, Blackpink, and Sistar, leading to worries that it might influence teenagers to adopt similar styles. Fashion experts have noticed an uptick in this trend, as seen in recent public appearances of K-pop idols. For instance, Hagu Yunjin of Lisa Seraphim was featured in a teaser for their mini album, Easy, where she was seen walking confidently through Seoul's shopping arcade at night, dressed in just a white burlette and gray panties, complemented by a long pink padding jacket. Another example is Sistar 19, a unit group of Sistar who made a bold fashion statement during their comeback performance on January 16th. They appeared on stage in white burlette tops, panties, and boots. G-Idol also joined in on this trend, as demonstrated in a concept photo that showcased a member in a silver glittering bikini top paired with short white bottoms set against a snowy scene. Moreover, in their teaser video for the title track Super Lady, released on January 26th, the group was seen embracing the pantsless look. While this fashion trend has received some positive feedback, with people describing it as liberating and admiring the idol's courage to defy prejudice and judgment, there is a growing segment of the public expressing discomfort. Concerned voices are being raised, with comments such as concerns over the appropriateness of appearing in underwear like clothing, worries about teenagers imitating the trend, and perceptions of it being a foresaid fashion statement. These reactions highlight the mixed sentiments surrounding the increasingly popular yet controversial pantsless look in the K-pop industry. On January 31st, RM of BTS was highlighted in a prestigious context paralleling the Korean pavilion at the Venice Art Biennale. Celebrating its 30th anniversary, the pavilion will feature an artwork from RM's personal collection in the 60th edition of the Biennale, one of the world's most renowned art exhibitions. Yonhap News reported that an artwork from 1968 by Yoo Young-kuk, titled Work, owned by RM, will be a part of this esteemed showcase. This event marks a significant moment for the BTS leader, who is not only a globally recognized music producer and artist, but also an avid art collector and enthusiast. The BTS ARMY, the dedicated fan base of BTS, has voiced their admiration and pride for RM's influence and standing in the art community. In the lead up to the 30th anniversary of its pavilion at the Venice Art Biennale, South Korea's art contribution to the 60th edition of the event is particularly noteworthy. RM's art collection was specifically selected for inclusion in the exhibition. This isn't the first time RM has ventured into the realm of contemporary art. He previously collaborated with artist Moon Sung Sik for the cover art of Bicycle, his unofficial single released in 2022. Moon Sung Sik, recognized for his unique blend of Western and Eastern artistic traditions, became the youngest Korean artist to participate in the Korean Pavilion at the Venice Biennale in 2005. To offer a fuller picture of what visitors can expect at the Korean Pavilion, the state art development agency ARCO invited seven other public and private art organizations to a press conference. ARCO plans to exhibit and document the works of 38 artists who have represented South Korea at the Biennale over the past three decades in a special exhibition titled, Every Island is a Mountain. This exhibition aims to showcase art's power to bridge societal divisions and hostilities. Among these esteemed artworks, RM's collection will be highlighted, cementing his status as one of the country's most influential art patrons. Fans from the BTS Army have taken to social media to express their excitement and pride, celebrating RM's latest achievement in the art world. BTS has yet again achieved a remarkable milestone in the music industry. On January 31st, their dynamic track On from the year 2020 was awarded platinum certification by the Recording Industry Association of Japan. This significant achievement, marking the song's widespread popularity, was officially announced by Big Hit Entertainment on their Twitter account and confirmed by the reputable South Korean news source, Naver. On Now proudly stands alongside other hit songs by BTS, becoming the 13th track of the group to receive this esteemed certification in Japan. This honor is designated for songs that surpass the impressive milestone of 100 million streams. Fans, in light of this achievement, have highlighted the fact that BTS continues to amass such accolades even during their hiatus. 
BTS's legacy in the music streaming world continues to grow with this latest addition to their list of multi-million streaming certifications. The Japan Record Association, RIAG, recently published its list of streaming certified works on its official website, acknowledging songs that have achieved significant streaming milestones as of December of the preceding year. Among these recognitions, BTS's On, taken from their fourth full-length album, Map of the Soul 7, has notably surpassed 1 billion cumulative streams, earning platinum certification. Ryaji categorizes streaming certifications into three levels, gold for songs with over 50 million streams, platinum for those amassing over 100 million streams, and diamond for tracks that reach the remarkable threshold of 500 million streams. BTS has consistently featured in this list, with their track Dynamite achieving diamond certification by crossing 500 million streams. Adding to their impressive record, songs like Permission to Dance and Butter have received triple platinum certification, having accumulated an astonishing 3 billion streaming records. Furthermore, tracks such as Stay Gold and Boy With Love have surpassed 200 million streams, thus earning the coveted status of double platinum certification. With On attaining Japanese certification, it becomes the 13th song in BTS's repertoire to be recognized in this manner. Fans reacting to this new accomplishment express their confidence that there will always be at least one BTS song on this prestigious list, showcasing the enduring popularity and influence of the group in the global music scene.